Hello guys, Goncraft here, and I am back with the December Minecraft Hardcore Challenge. I just spawned into the world, and I can already see that there's a lot of mobs walking around, like this son of a bitch. Die. Die. Oh, gosh, I hate it when that happens. It's really scary. But yeah, uh, last episode we found ourselves our... First, Jesus Christ! What the hell? Why so many creepers? Ah, Jesus! Uh, last episode we found uh, a crap ton of iron, which is a good thing. Uh, let's just kill off all these stupid animals. So this episode I want to be concentrating on starting a house. Um doesn't have to be anything too fancy. Because well it's hardcore and things like that. But I really like building fancy houses, so I think it will be an average house. We really have a crap ton of iron. Which is a good thing. <laughs> um so oh even more iron. Ooh. 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 <laughs> um give me all the iron bra. Um so yeah, making a house this episode probably uh, getting some farms and some food and things like that. And I think that would be enough to at least fill this episode. We we'll probably end up into in some cave or some mine that we will make and we will uh, end the episode that way so it's all finishing up right here it's all getting done with cooking its iron and things so I shouldn't waste all the coal so let's just put in these last pieces of iron shouldn't be that much to ask. Um, oh, alright, oh it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I hear a zombie. I know you're out there. Oh, it's a chain wheel. Hey, don't punch me. Ooh, that's neat. It gives less protection though, although it has. No, it has pro object. Fire protection. Good for lava, but I'm not really thinking about lava problems. Don't think they will occur or anything. So I think this nice field right here, next to the mountain, would be easy to find our house. Find 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 our house back. Oh gosh, that's loud. Uh, oh, guess I'll be able. I guess I'll be able to edit out all these sounds. But I do have my volume up pretty loud. Ah, that's a lot better already. Uh, sorry about that. That didn't do anything to the video probably, but it did do something to me. I was just getting deaf. Um, hello cow. I'm not gonna kill you. I'm gonna make a farm. I'm gonna make a cow farm and a sheep farm and a... Uh, well, don't know why we should make a sheep farm, but... I guess... Like, you don't use wool for anything but carpets and beds and decoration, right? You can't make string out of it, which is too bad, actually. Would be very useful if you could make string out of wool. And it wouldn't be that stupid either, like, one wool for, like, tree string or something. Or two. Wouldn't be too bad. Just to get string for a fishing rod and... Oh, we have enough string actually for a fishing rod. Or a bow. Hard decisions. That we will have to make. But for now, let's just concentrate on building a little shack. Don't want to do anything fancy, just a nice little shack. So let's just get some resources. It should be like a day... Day... I'm... Oh, my phone's ringing. Wait. Alright, I'm back. Uh, let's see. I think this messed up my counter. 
but I don't I'm, I'm not sure <laughs> uh, we will see maybe this episode is a little bit shorter I don't think it matters that much at least I hope um so yeah now I kind of lost well what, what was I talking about I have no idea well, we're just gonna make a little shack, just so... Um... Oh, my hand! My hand's really hurting at the moment. Because I was playing on my 3DS, like, just having a great time, like, playing Zelda. Um, the new Zelda, actually, Link Between Worlds. And I was just sitting there, and my cat came sitting on my legs, just hanging out. I was like, oh, you're so cute! And like she laid it down, and she was really cute and everything. And then at a certain moment, when I was about to stop playing on my 3DS, and I was uh, pretty much just petting the cat, like she was really cute and stuff. And out of nowhere, suddenly out of nothing, it totally shocked me. I I I, yeah, I released. It. She started to bite and scratch in my hand. It's like all bloody and shit now, and it's all hurting and it's terrible. Freaking cats. They do, uh. They make me feel like a creeper. <laughs> like, totally scared of cats. Uh, so let's see what can we do to make this house look nice. I think this is actually going to be pretty good. Like a small wooden base and then no, I hate grass. Um, so a small wooden base and here should be one more wood. There we go, wooden base and we're gonna make a wooden floor. I just do the Asia planks because they're the most common planks. I'll probably use some oak wood in the walls, but we need some more. Like, uh, I, I said I didn't want to make anything fancy, but with that I meant like not a giant castle, but I still wanted it to look good. In order for it to look good, we need to make it out of some good materials, which is mainly wood, because I want to. I want the house to fit the uh, the environment, so I'm going to make like an African uh, shack kind of thing. If you know what I mean, like an uh, a native African kind of house. That's what I want to make. Because uh, if you didn't know yet, uh, savannas are biomes out of Africa. So did I use? Yes, I did. I used up all the oak logs for planks. It might have not been the greatest plan in the world, but we will see how that all ends. Let's just. Take out all these freaking grasses. It makes sense that there's grass everywhere because that's how savannas work, but Jesus Christ. So much grass. Um and just plant trees, two blocks, tree, two blocks, tree, two blocks, like I always do. I want to explain this in my hardcore let's play. Um the main one. Which I should upload. I've, uh, by the way, uh, this is fun to tell. I'm not showing it. Gosh, not inside my house. Goodness. No! But I was so far away. Why do you have to blow everything up? Freaking creepers. You just gotta ruin everything. That's what they're meant for. It's their lifelong purpose. Like, from the moment a creeper sees you, he just hates you so much that he is just suicidal about killing you. It's terrible. Terrible message for kids, like, oh, if you don't like somebody, you should suicide. Why blowing up? Pretty sure the moment the Minecraft was released with creepers, that the, 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 the amount of suicides with explosions were hired in numbers, which makes no sense. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, what else did I want to talk about? Um, I keep getting distracted by all kind of things. 
Um, oh yeah, the hardcore let's play. I have made uh, a lot of improve. I, I went back home uh, because last episode I was exploring a bit, and I forgot my horse and was like, Meh. probably shouldn't venture out too much. So I went back to the house, and I actually found uh, quite quite some useful things. Um, the I went back into the nether, pretty much. I, I finished most of the sheep farm. It, all that's left to do is putting sheep in it, in it. So that's not too bad. And I probably should actually do this. Torch out the area around my house. Just torch it all up. I don't know if this is going to be very effective, but I don't feel like mining. I just want to continue building the house. God damn it. We are getting hungry. Pretty damn hungry. Um, that's bad. It's all so bad. We're doing pretty bad. Urgh. And I don't like to do bad. I want, don't want to die. I want this series to last. So let's have a look. That should do for now. Um, we're gonna make this upwards. Just make it bigger, but we are the wood. So we should get some more wood over there in the distance. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm probably gonna use this bone meal. Although I kinda want to use bone meal on farms. Like, important farms. And not wood. Oh, uh, things are spawning. I don't like it. Um, so yeah. Let me think. Um, Terraria. I wanted to talk about Terraria for a bit. Um, I had a plan of waiting till my hardcore let's play would end and then start playing Terraria. But that plan, I don't think I'm going to do it. I think I'm just going to upload a part of Terraria as soon as possible. Because I was like, I'm a noob. Um, I think it would be a lot of fun if people can just help me out in the comments by telling me what to do. Like, I find... Um, uh, let me think. I find a fallen star and I have no idea what the hell to do with it. <laughs> Tell me. And then I find, uh, and then people in the comments would say like, "Oh, if you have five of them, you can craft them into a mana star and get more mana." And then I can ask, "What the hell do I do with mana?" <laughs> so, yeah, I thought that would be fun, but right now I'm already uh, playing it because I can't really resist playing it because I bought it and it's a lot of fun, and I'm already finding out a lot of things. Like I know. All the things I just said, I already know those. Um, I know that I have NPCs to take care of. I know what a blood moon is. I know other things. And there's zombies behind me. Hey, don't hit me. Stop it. No, you're not coming closer. There's mobs all over the place. I'm going back home. And there's a skeleton. Of course. In my own house there's a skeleton. How are we faring? I probably should eat some more rotten flesh. Since it's the only food source I have. At the moment. Hello sheep. Are you going to be my pet? I wouldn't mind, as long as I don't have to feed you. Nope, I'm not going to feed you. No, I'm not going to feed you. Get out. Get out. Come on, get out. Get out! Come on, the door is right over there. Or you just go to the window. If that suits you better. Um, let's see. Some sticks. 
defense. And with the fence, we can make windows. And we need some wood to make a door. It's not very African shack ish, but need a door to be safe. Come on. Everybody knows you need a door to be safe. So, can't not make a door. Um, ooh, there's a creeper in my tree farm. Get out, please. Oh, wasn't even paying attention. What a dumb creeper. That doesn't happen very often. Would the creepers being so dumb? Uh, let's have a look at what the time is doing. It says we have three minutes left, which could be possible. Three and a half minutes left until the timer goes off. Uh, I guess I'll just stop when the, the moon hits the uh, when the moon hits the uh, so the horizon. Forgot the word horizon. I was really sad today. Uh, can talk about that, I guess. Uh, in school, I had to read for, for English, which I'm not the best at, mm. but I'm pretty good at it, in my opinion, uh, compared to the rest of people at school. Um, we had to read a book, and well, I chose a book and I read it. And uh, we had to make an essay about it uh, in, cl in class. We weren't allowed to do it at home for some reason. And so in class you had your book, and that was it. You had your book, and you had to write things down about the main character or about any character in the book. And I had a really fun book. It was it, it's called Hatchet by someone. <laughs> Don't know the name of the author, but. It was a great book, I really, one of the best books I've read in like a year, or more, I don't know, like I think it is like just as good as the Hunger Games series, which I read about a year ago, so that's pretty damn good, I, I loved the book, it was uh, really, it, it was touchy, it was it, it brought me into the story. It was about a a, a a young boy that survived a plane crash in the middle of the uh, uh, Canadian North Canadian woods, and uh, he had to live and try and survive. And skeletons. Uh, pretty much all he had was a hatchet, and yeah, that was it. And you have a hatchet. He crashed into a lake. And that was it, he had to survive in the Canadian wilderness and damn it! Stop failing. Um, so yeah, I, I, I had to write an essay. Just write in the classroom, just sit down, start writing an essay. Which was pretty hard, and you had to use all kind of quotes from the book. And you had one hour to make it. So I spent a lot of time trying to find good quotes. And I didn't really find a lot of good quotes. And you have to write at least 400 words uh, apart from the quotes. And I did not have 400 words. Which uh, was quite important, the, the teacher said. But I don't think uh, it's that important that you have 400 words. Because I feel like I did answer the questions and did a uh, made a good impression on what uh, the, the character, who the character is. Uh, my time's over, which is quite correct because the sun's rising. Uh, so this was episode uh, two of the Minecraft Michael Deering's Minecraft Hardcore Challenge. Um, next episode we will continue building this lovely little shack. I think right now you can always see what it's going to look like. So you have a bit more roof-ish kind of thing. So thanks for watching, I've been Gorncraft, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode of the Minecraft Hardcore Challenge.